Well, good morning, everybody. It is a very weird day. Uh, a little breezy, chilly, and potential chance of rain. Thinking about doing the Lock Haven River Walk. Thinking about it. <laughs> Procrastinating about it. Uh, just have zero ambition this morning. Mike and I just got off the phone. We were talking again about different things. So, oh, I don't know. I want to get out of the house, but at the same token, I'm really okay with not. But I know that's not what Sunday normally is, and I'm just, I feel bad. It's like the last couple of days have been pretty short, so. I don't know, we'll see. It's 11, like 20 after 11 right now, so it's early enough, and it's not that far of our drive. <clears throat> Plus I can stop the Walmart up there and get the bike mount for for the uh, Action 4. It's, not, it's a helmet mount, but it comes with the ball joint GoPro and it comes with a regular set of feet. I call them the feet because they're the ones that hook to the camera and lock in. I want to get that set up. Um, but it's a little breezy out. so And I did actually stop the mic from recording as well, so I don't have to keep deleting it all the time. And if I need to record something for the iPhone or the Samsung, I can just hit record and it'll be a separate file. It'll be a lot easier for me to go through than trying to capture all these clips as well. All right, I've only talked about coming up here I don't know how many times, and we've never done it. This is the Lock Haven Levee Trail. Get little guys out for a walk. It's like 2.1 miles, but I don't know if that's one way or round trip, so I'll figure it out here. It's a matter of dragging Princess through. It's very windy this morning or this afternoon, as you can see the grass. And yeah, I can't see the screen in polarized lenses. That's just fabulous. One downside up here is coming during the week would be bad. You'd have to actually pay to park. That seems kind of stupid, but freaking park. Come on, God. Make sure no one's coming. It's kind of a pretty day. It wasn't for the wind. The clouds are pretty. It's a little bit of blue skies. We got some Canadians visiting down there. Some geese. One's being really loud. Floating down the river. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. The green off the just kind of shooting in the river there. If you guys can see it, these sunglasses are making part of it look green. Alright, so we basically parked at one end. Yeah, there's like green sections here. Probably can show up now better. Priya, we can't go any further. These dogs are obstinate as all hell today. They've been cooped up laying on top of me for a while. It'd be cool to get out to that island though. It's really neat. Looks like there's a ladder out there for people to climb up off of boats and stuff. And there is a little pathway here going down. Oh, got a chase going on. I'm trying to get them to walk and I, get, I yelled at them one time and there's people were walking to their vehicle and they started staring at me. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> it's a really cool shot behind me though. Yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. Kind of what the picture showed. I kind of knew what to expect, but like I said, I'm not sure if it's 2.1 round trip, which would be like one point something or what, but we'll find out here. Take a nice little stroll in the windy weather. I do have a beanie with me in case my ears get cold. Question to jacket, but I think with the wind, I need something to block it. Uh, but it's a nice trail. Looks like they seal it. Princess seems to enjoy it so far. Mateo's like, how far are we going on this shit? <laughs> so that some people have like a campground or something going on over there. So I'm guessing you can only access that by boat because there is nothing leading to it. That'd be cool though. I'm not sure what this wall up here is. It looks kind of uh, interesting. And there go my uh, spies driving away in their white truck. Where are you heading there, young lady? God, I can't see this screen at all. I thought about hooking up the unit with the iPhone, honestly, because it's so bright out. Guess I'm just gonna have to do it without sunglasses, because that sun just does not work with polarized lenses. 
even the screen itself is kind of the only one of the downsides it's not quite bright enough but i guess for battery life you know it's uh, a little bit nicer out than i thought at home it's not quite this warm of course i didn't have mr sun beaming on me either at home no i didn't buddy you were hot in the car too that sky <sighs> I bet you that would be a lot prettier if it was actually starting to bloom and stuff. Uh, hey, at least we'll know. We can come back up here again on, the, on a slow day or something. It's not that far of a ride. I'm not sure of this at all, but I'm guessing this was kind of built probably after the 72 floods, kind of like down in Waynesport, because a lot of our area got demolished by the 72 floods. So I'm almost betting this was part of that cause if not maybe another flood but usually they don't make levees unless they have to so, so we're up pretty high I mean, we're up higher than we are at the one in Williamsport quite a bit higher I'm gonna say that's probably about 30 feet maybe maybe more maybe a little less but we're up there the river would have a hell of a time getting over it that island would be underwater by about mm, 15 feet <laughs> Looks like there's a park on that side. Let's kind of maybe check that out at some point because there's a, another bridge that crosses over. I don't think I've ever gone over that bridge. I'm not sure what that route runs to. Oh, I might run to 150. I bet you any money. Look at those freaking houses on the hill though. Holy buckets. They need some big ones. That's where the rich people live. I like the white one in the center here, up on stilts, and then the, the one next to it is pretty cool too. Alright, coming up on our first little sign here. We have quite a few of them before one point. But let's see what we got going on here. Do, 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 do. Lumber years and the Bloom Island, okay. Uh, so it does have a name, Bloom Island. Oh, uh, okay. you guys can read that normally when I look back if you big, make a screen big enough you can but yeah I'm guessing that's what they're talking about right there it's Bloom Island alrighty had to take a little bit of a break because Princess had to do her business Ugh. you know they put trash cans along these things but they never put any porta potties or anything and I think that's kind of rude I mean what are you supposed to do <laughs> I guess you could jump down by the river and go. <laughs> or be like Mateo and just lift your leg on every little tall piece of grass there is in the planet. Is that your goal in your life, buddy? Pee on every tall piece of grass? You're going to be busy for a while. Tell you what, when that wind stops blowing, that sun is very hot. This is kind of why I was questioning whether or not a jacket was a good idea or not. But too late now. <laughs> of course, the wind's been kicking up on and off. So it looks like there's a trail down but there's really no way back up once you come down here. So up yonder, there's a, you can take a ramp down or a staircase. You can walk along down here, but I'm not trying to climb these stones. Not with my ankle situation or having Mateo fall through the rocks. Uh, we might do it, but then we'd have to backtrack, which, you know, that's all we're doing today. Right, little man? And maybe Daddy's gonna try to find and see if that hoagie place is open. Terry and I stopped that last time we went up and uh, get myself something good. Crow in the trees, a couple crows. I don't know if you guys can see them. I never can tell. I, I hate saying that all the time, but I just don't know. They're in the right two branches here. One above the other. <laughs> he gave his position away by squawking. Oh, there's a ramp down this way too. Interesting. Yeah, you know, maybe instead of backtracking, what we'll do is we'll just go down, come back up the other side. Then we got another sign going on here. Lockport Peter Steps. I like that they put these little signs and stuff of the history. Can make sure I screen grab them down the road. All right. Oh, is there another dog down there? Yes, there is. Shit, no Priya. 
Uh, if we stay on the high path, we might be okay, but I don't think that dog's hooked. We'll come back on the way back, Mateo. The dog is hooked. I now see the orange line, but don't want to tease him, cause any problems. So we'll just stay up here for now. We'll come back on the way back. Well, I gotta give him credit. There's a lot of access points to get up here, though. This is the third one, including the one that we came up. Yeah, you want to look off the edge, I know. No railing. That's fantastic. Has there been railing at all? Yeah, I think there hasn't. Um, the one thing that was said is though it's well lit. There is lighting all the way down this trail, so I'm pretty sure you can come out here even at night and do this. Maybe some night in the summer. Come up and do it. I don't know if, I don't think there's a time restriction. And I'm hoping, I think we go over top of the road here that we don't have to cross. And it looks like there's a grandstand up here. I know there used to be a regatta they used to run every year, but after someone got killed in it, they quit doing it. But I don't know if this grandstand has anything to do with it. There's definitely steps and handrails. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe there'll be a sign telling us. Either that or we're going under it because there is a trail going down by the river here. I'm not sure if you can make your way across to the water's covered. Looks like it's pretty close at one point there. It looks like it might get a little muddy. All right. Yeah, I think that way it ends. There's a, like a plank you can walk out of. No thanks, I'm not walking out not with these two dogs. So I guess we're kind of forced to going down. It's kind of unique. It takes you from a levee to underneath. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that no, there is a sign up there too. We'll have to backtrack over when we get back. I'm not really sure. I think we took the right way. Because there's a wall on either side otherwise. Yeah, it's gated off. You can actually go out on that. Kind of a smart thing, because it looks like it would be a good fall onto rock. So I guess we're going the right way. And we're going to run into another dog anyway. Great. Yeah, by the looks of this, I'm sure this had been impassable at some point. All the high rains. It's even jumping up on here in a couple spots as is. Priya, you're going to have to be a nice little dog to this little dog. Okay, past the little puppy. Fast little puppy, Priya. Good job, you sniff noses. Yes, you did. Okay, we are water level. <laughs> and Princess is gonna jump in. Try to grab some pictures at the phones when I come back through. That water is really green today. Wasn't my imagination. But yeah, I'm not sure what this is all about. Staircase, it's like a whole bleacher section. That would be sore in the butt. I only want a pillow. The railing doesn't come all the way down. Yeah, well, you step under my feet. That's what's going to happen for you. You're going to get stepped on. Where are you going? Really? Really? Where are you going? What are you doing up on them big steps? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Just leaps off. My God. I put active track on her, so I don't have to keep following her. All right. You silly basset hound. You silly girl. She doesn't use the staircase. She just jumps up the double. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure what that was for. We'll just see if we can research it. Might be a sign too somewhere saying what that's all about. idea by the stick debris where the water line was so that was underwater by quite a bit I'm gonna say probably up to the the bottom one here bottom platform maybe a little higher all right yeah I didn't look at elevation changes in here though oh my goodness these are 
they're long so I mean they cut down some of the grade but it's still pretty steep coming back up yeah that winds getting in my ear now uh, well yeah the water is definitely representing St. Patrick's Day today wow it's vibrant a little more vibrant with my sunglasses than less Cross cut canal. Ah. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure what we're looking at here. Ah, so there's more information over there on that plaque across the street. So this was actually a canal off the river at one point. That's what it was. Susquehanna River. It looks like they've taken it out, obviously. Oh, I'm not even aiming at the picture. God, that wind and the clouds have come over. All right, interesting. Probably back in the day how they got water into the town above the grandstands now. You know, I'm, and there's more signs down here. All right, so that's one of what the, what the bridge used to look like. History of the J Street Bridges it was a covered bridge. And the bridge burned down in 1919 at one in the morning. Well, that sucks. One of the oldest states in the one of the oldest bridges in the state. And now that's what you got. I think when that picture was taken, it looked a lot better. <laughs> flood project dedicated in honor uh, 72 through 97. Yep, so it was a flood of 72. Oh geez, again, I'm not looking at the sign. Greenway. I've already taken kind of a flight over. <laughs> That's back in the videos. All right, let's hit the crosswalk and go see where the canal went through and then we'll come back over and finish our walk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Old Canal Lock, built by the state of Pennsylvania in 1834 for the rafts created by the dam. Right. And yeah. Really, Priya? Right, so, where we're about to walk used to be a canal. Probably was a control for the gate they left in. It's small, but it's abandoned. It falls in the category. <laughs> it falls in the category of abandoned things. I found something. Unintentionally, I found something. <laughs> Alright, so that is the Hennessy house. I did get a decent shot with the iPhone of the sign out front, so I can put that up for you guys to read. Really cool. I like how they kept the brick and everything in front of it. I think that's another abandoned item on the list. <laughs> ah, we're zoomed in. There we go. It's not so much, well, um, I don't know if you want to call it abandoned, but it's on the historical registry. So, I'll take it. <laughs> You know, honestly, if I paid attention more, I'm sure throughout the vlogs, I run into things that have been, you know, classified as either historical or abandoned throughout. But uh, focusing on it this year is kind of cool to go see. Ooh, the Piper Aviation Museum is that way. Yeah, probably not open on a Sunday in the, in the spring. Oh, I had to put my beanie on. My left ear, the wind is coming in and it is just killing me. But other than that, it's a beautiful walk. Look at that sky behind me. Look at that. 
Dude, look at that. I'm blurred. All right, I think I mentioned there was a tiny dam. Uh, in person, it's, it, I mean, it's not a major dam, but nonetheless, give you the upper view here first. That's pretty good, rewraps me back up. We'll go down and see it closer. What are you doing there, princess? Now, you, now, you, now you're wrapping me up and crossing me over. Uh, there is a sign laying down on its face. I'm almost guessing it says, do not swim near dam. But I don't see a whole lot of signage. There's another one laying down over there too. That's not very good. Okay, in person, it's a little bigger than what I thought by the pictures. I don't know if the video gives it any credit. Uh, it's a pretty decent fall. <laughs> now we are upstream from home, so this is all before us. That's going to be pretty neat to walk near. You can get pretty damn close. I'm a little concerned the princess is trying to jump up on the freaking wall, though. From here, that wall doesn't look very high, but again, being so high, it's deceiving. Not really neat. Okay, picture worthy. All right, so there is a danger dam. Boating, swimming, waiting. It's gonna be a nice little wind into our face on the way back. Wow. Not looking forward to that. It just, it looks so tiny in person even. But on the camera, it looks even smaller. <laughs> Crazy. But I'm gonna say it's probably a good six foot drop. Maybe less. I don't know, it's hard to tell. And I gotta watch this one over here because she's already yanking me down the pathway. She's like, I hear rushing water, Dad. I need to go investigate this. <laughs> yeah, that wall's not real high. Yeah, that, might, that didn't even come to my knees. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to keep her back. Priya, Priya. You're not gonna get close to this. I'm not swimming after you. I'm trying to get some of the rapids there. Ooh, that's uh Am I getting it? You can tell. Okay, okay, you don't need to be investigating the cave in either. A little giveaway there. I know Priya, she'll jump up on the damn wall and I don't need her to do that right now. My water's slowing pretty damn good off that. Stop. I'm gonna have to throw that into some slow motion. Priya, don't you dare walk near that damn. It almost looks like the water's like several feet above the actual dam, too. You can see down in where I'm looking here. Oh, come on. I can't angle in. See back. Oh, well. All the dam. I, I want to get her away from this thing. She's scaring the shit out of me. She's a daredevil, and I'm not going swimming after her. I could see her going in. Really could. I don't have second eyes on with me. I know this is, I might sound like such a wuss, but I just, this dog. I mean, after what she did last weekend or two weekends ago, crawling under that fence and looking over the freaking 20 foot drop while I was taking a picture, not cool. bridge to walk under. What I have on my watch versus what these signs are reading out is completely false. I'm over two miles already and this thing's only supposed to be 2.1 and the sign back there just said 1.75. I don't know where the hell they're measuring from. It looks like we can go down that way by the river which we've kind of already seen and we have to walk through that bleacher section again anyway. So we're just going to continue on. Finish the normal path and then make our way back. Oh, boy, that current's pretty strong today. You can see it on the uh, bridge of trust there, or the pillar. I 
beautiful day to do this minus the wind and it would be absolutely stunning these ramps are no joke though they definitely have a good grade to them i'm gonna feel this later tonight but look at all the lighting you could definitely do this in the, at night you know, a pretty walk definitely have to consider doing that here it might be easier to do without dogs though without these troublemakers wherever the hell they may be on the camera all right guys we're almost done come on ah, i think there's another marker up there we're almost to the end i see the end i see it come on oh no we're getting chased by a plate that is kind of cool <laughs> is it gonna go off the edge it's still going and now it's gonna go back down to the river oh it fell over <laughs> well i thought i saw the end but now i see it curving back but it's curving away from the river so i'm thinking that's probably the end of it because it looks like it makes this turn and that's farm field over there so which one am i in i'm still in zoom okay i know i keep bragging about it but yeah on a, on a walk like this pocket three it's the way to go <laughs> it's so much easier to navigate with if i want to put it away put the cover on it stick it in my pocket and it doesn't weigh my pants down more than they're already weighed down Ooh, what kind of bird activity we got going on over here a bunch of them are flying in Well, that's not coming in real good. That's for sure. I don't know what they are. Let's try to get closer. Seagulls. They are seagulls. Landing in the Susquehanna River. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't want to go out that way. Bring it back. Look at them all. He was a gaggle of them. Like I thought, the river kind of cuts off to the left there. And I'm not sure if the path leads into like a park or what's going on here. But we're coming to the end, finally. I think we've gone over two and a half miles out <laughs> with our little cutoffs. Oh, what have we got going on here? Native American history in the Great Island. Oh, okay. Trying to get down to see the sign. Alright, so this would be the other end you could park at. So if you had two people with two vehicles, you could park one here, go to the other end, park there, come walk all the way back, and then voila, jump in a car and drive back to the other one. What do you think, Mateo? Was it fun? I can't even see you. Was it fun? I think I got you part way. He's like, uh, are we done yet? Can we go home? Where's that second car, Dad? <laughs> Talk about being all funless. No wonder there's no one out here bicycling. Bicycling. No bicycles, skateboards, rollerblades, or skateboards. Roller skates or skate... Yeah. Roller skates and rollerblades. I can't read nor talk. Of course, I also can't see it through the damn camera because I have my polarized lenses on. Okay, we have made it from one end to the other. And we are going to make our way back. Where are we at? We are at 2.92 miles. That is a long way off of 2.1. And that other little puppy's coming back, so we're going to give them a chance to get to their car. Hey, so I found another sign going back in the high winds. Wait for aircraft history. So we have something else that we can be proud of around here. Lock Haven's proud aircraft history. was interesting don't know the only way I do this again is if I came up at night and did it with the lights on right now we need to go to some place that has a restroom to Walmart Super Center. Turn right. all right we're gonna turn right it, it wasn't I mean it's a beautiful trail don't get me wrong it's just uh, at the next lights okay um, 
downside to these river walks is that the fact that they don't have any porta potties. Turn left onto North Bay. To me, that just seems silly. Uh, what way am I? Okay. And I was like, what is this? I'm looking at all these buildings around us right now. I'm like, what is that? It's Lockhaven Haven University. <laughs> Must be the dorms and the college. So I thought it was a hospital at one point. So Mike informed me that seagulls actually live in all 50 states. Oh, I guess we can end workout. Two hours and how long? 10 minutes. 5.36 miles, because we didn't do as much on the way back as we did on the way out. So it might have been accurate. Ooh. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Belfont Avenue. It's Belfont there, lady. Not Belfont. I don't go through colleges very often. <laughs> actually, there was a Starbucks I looked for one time that was actually in the college. I don't think you can just walk in and use it, though. I could be wrong. Never, never figured it out and decided not to go in and left. Well, good thing from Burger King. It was actually closer than McDonald or, Bur or than Walmart. And the uh, hoagie place is not open on Sundays, so I'm glad I didn't uh, not order something. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'll still get my hoagie, and I get on their website closed. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. They don't reopen until Tuesday. I get it. I mean, you don't always need to be open. I'm not mad about it. Just, I was kind of looking forward to that, but you know what? I've been hungry for a Whopper for a bit too. Oh God, I'm tired. And I finished Resident Alien, so, I, well, I didn't finish it, but I'm caught up with the current season. Oh, break, 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 break. So yeah. Gonna have to wait until uh, third, what Friday? Friday they come out. At least I can keep up with it now. I don't know. It's just this season's a little eh. Not. It's just, he did actually have me laughing a couple times this time around. Some of the stuff he says, my coworker's right. He he he, he just doesn't quite always grasp what he's saying. But some of this this last episode was quite comical. But. Uh, of course, they introduced a new character for a love interest for him, another alien, and it's like, I'm kind of wishing she'd go away because it's kind of ruining the dynamic of the show, which I think they were trying to pull him away from the other co-star. <clears throat> and I think they're going to get rid of her in the next probably episode or two, the way it looks. But anywho, oh, get home, eat my Whopper, have a beer, and relax. And probably import and get ready to call this a day.